Hello, my name is Sam. I'm from usephotoshop.com, and today I'm going to help you understand how to use the Dodge tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm running the most current version at this time, Photoshop CS5. If you don't already have a image open, go to File, Open, or use the keyboard shortcut Control and the letter O on your keyboard to open an existing photo from your hard drive. In this case, I'm using this photo here. To find the tool, go to Window Tools to open up the Tools Palette or the Tools Window. It's located 7th from the top or 5th from the bottom on the right hand side and may be hiding behind the Burn Tool or the sp Sponge Tool. If it is simply left click, hold down, you will see this menu appear and you can select the first option, the Dodge Tool. The, key the keyboard shortcut is O, meaning if I'm using another tool and I wanted to use that tool, simply by hitting the letter O on my keyboard, I will be taken back to the dodge tool. Let's have a look at this. We can change uh, a few different uh, features and attributes up here. We can change the size and the hardness, also the brush tip by clicking on this downward arrow. Let's increase our size. Sure, let's make that much bigger and delete my hardness at 0%. There's also the range to select. Let's leave that at mid-tones right now, and we'll leave the exposure at 50%. The exposure is how much of the dodge tool is applied. If I had it set very low, it will be applied very minimally, and if I had it set very high, it will be applied very liberally. Let me show you how it works. What this tool does is it brings out the highlights in the photo and it brightens the photo up. You will see it is the range selected is mid-tones right now, meaning that it will lighten the mid-tones. I will click and drag over this photo and you will see that it lightens it up. Now it does look like it's lightening up the whole photo, but indeed it's not, it's just lightening the mid-tone range. I'll undo, undo that so you can see the difference. And let's change the range to shadows. And when I go over it now, it will just lighten the shadows or the dark areas of the photograph. Or I can change that to highlights where it will just brighten the highlights in this photo. In this case, mostly her skin and the highlights in her hair. So there's a quick overview of how to use the Dodge tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm Sam from usephotoshop.com.